Today we are talking about storage and then we're gonna complete three tasks to obtain our assets. So let's talk about storage. As an editor, it is vital that you have an external hard drive. Storing files on your computer is going to kill its speed and fill its storage. Without storage, you can't edit. You can store files and edit off your computer, but your computer is going to work even harder, slowing down your editing workflow. And that's going to catch up with you. Editing is unfortunately an investment, so you are going to have to spend some money. Now, depending on where you're at, I'm going to give you two categories of hard drives that you need to purchase. For my beginners, the best bang for your buck is the Seagate 5 terabyte HDD. It can be formatted to PC and Mac. This is not the fastest drive, but it has a decent amount of storage and can potentially last you a while depending on your projects. If you're a beginner, this is the perfect drive. If money's the main issue, try the Seagate portable one terabyte HDD. Now for my intermediates who want to drop a little more cash, I recommend buying the Vectotech four terabyte solid state drive. It has a lot of storage and it's an SSD. SSDs are more reliable and do not have moving parts like HDDs. SSDs on average have a four times read and write speed compared to HDDs. This means that your computer's ability to gather information from your drive is increased, allowing for a faster and more efficient workflow. So if you're wanting to move up in the ranks of editing, I recommend buying an SSD. For my expert editors, well, you're an expert and this is a beginner's course, so carry on. As a working editor, you are going to want at least five terabytes of external storage. HDDs are known for large storage and SSDs are known for their speed. You edit on an SSD and you transfer to an HDD for backups or archiving. So that's pretty much the relationship in general terms. But an external hard drive is highly recommended for taking this course. So without further ado, let's move on to our three tasks for today. Task one is downloading all the assets that we're going to use while editing this project. This includes the footage and the folder structure that we're going to be using. Task number two, we're actually going to walk through the folder structure of the project and discuss how to use it. And number three, you're going to read the script, but that you're going to do on your own. Okay, it is time to rock. Let's do it. So the first step is to download the project file. So go ahead and click the Dropbox link in the description and it should take you to right here. If you hover your mouse over this, you'll see that the bar highlights. You're going to come to these three dots and you're going to hit download. If anything pops up that asks you if you want to make sure you want to download, just hit allow and and your download will start. Now what's gonna happen is that up here in Safari, your downloads are gonna go. It's gonna download a zip file that's about one and a half gigs. Now, after it's done downloading, all I want you to do is click it, drag and drop it to your desktop. Usually it comes in a zip file, but if you have Safari, which automatically unzips it, that's cool, not a big deal, but just double click, make sure all the files are there. You're going to put this onto our hard drive. So the hard drive I'm gonna be using is Nike Spec. This is a terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna drag and drop this onto the root level of the hard drive and you'll see it's copying over again. So we're gonna wait for that to copy. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have a hard drive, go ahead and just keep this file on your desktop. You won't even see this. You'll just be editing straight out of that. But as I've said before, it is really recommended that you have a hard drive. All right, now that it's copied over, you can go ahead and delete the desktop folder. So one important tip, do not rename any of these files in the finder. The only time you want to rename these is when you've already imported them into Premiere. Premiere is going to create a reference file. You are going to rename that reference file, not these source files. So this is a source file because this is the original location. Let's walk through the project folder and understand this folder structure. So this yellow thing called Nike spec, this is your project drive. This is the hard drive that your project is going to be on. Inside that drive, this is your project folder. I'm going to refer to this a lot throughout the course. This is the folder where all of your project's assets are going to reside. So if we click inside the project folder, we see four main folders. Okay, we see assets, footage, music, and we see pre-prod, which stands for pre-production. Any graphics, titles, or anything like that would go inside your assets folder. Anything that you shot on set, like drone footage or just the normal daily coverage would go inside your footage folder. Any music tracks, hip hop beats, or anything like that, or music scores will go into the music folder. And any documents that helped with pre-production would go in here. So let's check inside the assets folder. So we have five assets. We have if it doesn't challenge you in all caps, we have if it doesn't challenge you in lowercase, it won't change you in all caps, it won't change you in lowercase, and and the Nike logo. We're gonna put these graphics in a little later in the course, but these are the graphics that we're gonna be using at the end of our commercial once it's cut. And if you wanna add your own assets to this, you don't have to use these ones, you can actually make your own, but if you do make your own graphics or assets, put them in this assets folder before you import them into Premiere. This is really important to have all of your assets in one single location that Premiere can reference when you're editing this project. Now let's check in our footage folder. This is where the most space is taken up. So if I right click this footage folder and hit get info, you're going to see that 1.44 gigabytes is taken up. The project folder
folder itself is 147. So you can see that 99% of the data and information is inside this footage folder. And that's because these are our production files. Video files are pretty much the biggest files you'll be working with as an editor. These files are not 4K files. They were originally shot in 4K, but they were down res to 720. So you guys are able to edit them no matter what system you're on. But at the end, you can relink your full res files if you want and put it in your demo reel. So you will have the opportunity to do that later. But for now, you're going to be working with low res files. Back out. Let's go to the music folder. Now, these are four tracks that you guys can use for whatever reason you guys want. You don't have to use them on this project, but you can use them on other projects if you guys want. So let's check the pre-production folder. Now, the pre-production folder, we have the script, the Nike spec ad script. It's only a 30 second spot, so the script isn't that long. And we also have the animatic. Now, this was a rough animatic that was made very quickly. We just wanted to get an idea. Now, this animatic was made by Chris Rosen. This was something to be very simple just to get the idea out there of what this commercial was like. So if that helps you understand the story a bit better, go ahead and watch that. Everything that's inside your Nike spec ad project folder, again, the four folders, assets, footage, music, and pre-production. We will be adding an SFX folder, which is for sound design, which is booms, impacts, whooshes, car sounds, all of that cool stuff. Atmosphere, that'll all go in this, but we'll talk about that later. Now that I've showed you the main four, we're going to create a brand new folder right now. So open up that root level of your project folder, right click and create a new folder. Title this folder project underscore files. Inside our project files folder is where all of the software files will go. So if we click inside here, we're going to title a new folder that is the name of the software we're going to be using. So in this case, it's Adobe Premiere. So if you want to use Photoshop or if you want to use Illustrator or any software that is a part of this project, you would put a folder here with the name of that software that you're using. And then any software files that need to be saved or exported go into that project files folder, in this case, Premiere. All right, so that pretty much does it for the project file and downloading your assets. All right, before you watch the next video, read the script. After you read the script, reread the script because in the next video, we're going to break down everything that you just read. This episode comes from my video editing course called Shut Up and Cut that is absolutely free right here on YouTube. So if you want to watch the next episode in the course, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it.